Hi guys, this is Moni again. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year guys. I wish that you guys will achieve all your goals in 2020, especially passing PTE. In the video today, it will be my new experiment with PTE speaking. This is something that a lot of test takers have been asking me to do, but I finally got time to do it. You know, when you guys are doing uh, describe image or retail lecture, some of you prefer to use templates right uh, to just uh, connect all the words and to keep your fluency however some people uh, find it a bit hard for them to fit all the keywords in 40 seconds and sometimes they were just wondering if they could just read the keywords what happens if we just say all the keywords in describe image and retail lecture will it affect our scores so <laughs> and for that i will be using pearson's official mock test again from ptepractice.com uh, and see what happens and before I show you what I got if you're not my subscriber yet then please quickly click the subscribe button below so now let's just have a look at my score report keep in mind that I didn't do any modules um, for reading uh, listening and writing I only did speaking for this experiment Yes, surprisingly, I got 90 um, and I will be showing you the recording of me doing the test. I try my best to uh, have a clear pronunciation, um, maintain my fluency in read aloud, in um, repeat sentence and also my repeat sentences were almost perfect and so there are many different factors that contributed to my 90 speaking and to be honest just because you got 90 doesn't mean you got perfect speaking scores because the real scores in the system is higher than 90. It was still very fascinating to see that I was able to score really high uh, just by reading all the keywords. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be using any template. What I wanted to show is that you can also choose to do it freestyle utilizing all information and all the keywords and not stressing too much over uh, grammatical mistakes uh, by connecting the words together so now let's just all watch the recording of me doing uh, this mock test The course includes an extensive viewing on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change, which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges, challenges it poses to business and government, as well as a discussion on possible solutions. Stern review, economics of climate change, delves into the science behind the issue. The course includes an extensive unit on climate change and requires all students to read the stern review on the economics of climate change, which was published last year. The course delves into the science behind the issue, the challenges it poses to business and government, as well as a discussion on possible solutions. In the fast-changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physician, physicians' practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff, and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. In the fast-changing world of modern healthcare, marketing and legal decisions, in the fast-changing world of modern healthcare, the job of a doctor is more and more like the job of a chief executive. The people who run hospitals and physicians' practices don't just need to know medicine. They must also be able to balance budgets, motivate a large and diverse staff, and make difficult marketing and legal decisions. 
Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage, and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage, and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble. Environmental problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage, and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause troubles by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught, caught alive. <coughs> A fish that was supposed to be to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In recent years, there have been one or two significant happenings that have kept alive the hope that the deep sea may conceal strange links with the past. In December 1938, off the southeast tip of Africa, an amazing fish was caught alive, a fish that was supposed to have been dead for at least 60 million years. In multilingual, multilingual countries, caught, caught they are caught mixing the use of more than one variety in the same utterance of sentence and code switching. The use of different languages or varieties between sentences is common and natural. Despite its frequency, or perhaps because of it, some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic morality view both, both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency. Okay, code mixing, code mixing code switching linguistic deficiency self-appointed in multilingual countries code mixing the use of more than one variety in the same utterance or sentence and code switching the use of different languages or varieties between sentences is common and natural despite its frequency or perhaps because of it some scholars and self-appointed guardians of linguistic morality view both code mixing and code switching as a sign of linguistic deficiency. In this landmark account, first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and liturgy of the poor are the direct result of the whole situation of economic, social and political domination. By being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. In this landmark account first published over 20 years ago. In this landmark account first published over 20 years ago, the author argues that the ignorance and liturgy of the poor are the direct result of the whole situation of economic, social and political domination. By being kept in a situation in which critical awareness and response are practically impossible, the disadvantaged are kept submerged. Students must observe lab safety regulations at all times. Students must observe lab safety regulation at all time. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential value. It's the words of common occurrence that have different referential value. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. The office said Dr. Smith will arrive later today. Student Services provides help with housing and transport. Student Services provides help with housing and transport.
A study skills seminar is on for students who require assistance. A study skills seminar is on for students who require assistance. Any textual references you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. Any textual reference you make should be cited appropriately in the footnotes. The research paper should begin with a thorough review of the literature. The research paper should begin with thorough review of the literature. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The aesthetic implications of this study have not yet been fully explored. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. The inherent tension between these two features remains to be addressed. The bar chart shows largest cities worldwide in millions. It shows 1950 London with 8 millions, Tokyo 17 millions, New York 21 millions, Sao Paulo 11 millions, Mexico City 18 millions, Tokyo 23 millions in 2000, Delhi 12 millions, Mumbai or Bombay 34 millions, and Tokyo 36 millions in 2015. So it shows largest cities worldwide including London, Tokyo, New York, Sao Paulo, Mexico City, Tokyo, Delhi, Mumbai, Bombay, and Tokyo. The graph shows kilocalories per day. It shows North America, Europe and Central Asia, World and Africa. It shows 1975, 1980, 1985, 1990, 1995, also 2000, 2200, 2400, 2600, 2800, 3000, 3200, 3400, 3600 kilocalories per day. So again, North America, Europe and Central Asia, World, Africa, The pie chart shows injury location. Home is 41.4%. Leisure sport 17.1%. School childcare 4.8%. Others 2%. Roads 19.5%. Work 15.2%. Home 41.4%. Leisure sport is 17.1%. School childcare 4.8%. Others 2%. Roads 19.5% and work only 15.2%. So it's figure one injury location.
The line graph shows population growth and projected population of Sydney, 1974 to 2031. It shows 1976 census, 2001 census, 2031 projected, 2031 projected, shows 6 million, 5 million, 4 million, 3 million, 2 million, and 1 million, shows 3 million, 50 thousand, 4 million, 128 thousand, and 570, 5 million, and 300 thousand. So 1976 census, 2001 census, 2031 projected. The picture shows three towers, Taipei 101 Taipei with 1,670 feet, Petronas Towers 1 and 2 in Kuala Lumpur with 1,483 feet, and this tower in Chicago with 1,450 feet. Again, Taipei 101 in Taipei, 1,670 feet, Petronas Towers 1 and 2 in Kuala Lumpur is 1,483 feet and also this tower in Chicago is only 1,450 feet so it shows three towers. The line graph shows manufacturing output in the UK, 1990, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007 in year. Percentage, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100, 100 102, 104, and 106, 108%. Manufacturing output in the UK in 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. Milk is not typical of all monasteries for many reasons. First, it is very grand, which most, especially later foundations, aren't. Secondly, it was founded in the countryside, whereas in the 17th and 18th centuries, a good proportion of foundations were made in towns. Thirdly, it still owns a substantial amount of land, because fourthly, it lies in the Austrian Republic, the only European country where grand old monasteries have been in continuous existence since they were founded, 900, 1,000, even in one case 1,200 years ago. The lecture talks about milk, monastery, reasons, grand, foundations, founded, countryside, 17th, 18th centuries, foundations, town, substantial amount, land, lies, Australian, Austrian Republic, European country, old monasteries, continuous existence, founded, 900, 1000, 1200 years ago, milk, monastery, Typical monastery foundations, 18 centuries. Corruption comes at a, a huge economic and social cost, and that cost is felt most acutely by the world's poor. Dr. Arnold has already given the staggering figure of $1 trillion US uh, that's paid in bribes worldwide. It is an extraordinary figure. It's a figure that equals 10 times what is paid each year by donors in international development assistance, 10 times development assistance. And even this huge amount, $1 trillion, could be an underestimate because it's very difficult to capture uh, a number of the more elusive transactions within the public sector that involve 
corrupt dealings, such as budget leakages and, uh, and asset theft. Corruption sharpens income inequality and it impacts disproportionately on the poor. In many countries, corruption works as a, as a regressive tax on household incomes, regressive because it impacts much more on the poor than the uh, more wealthy. Compared with higher income groups, lower income families pay a much larger share of their incomes in bribes to access basic public services and their overall access to those services is reduced. Lecture talks about corruption, economic, social cost, figures, $1 trillion, US, bribes, worldwide, 10 times, donors, international development, underestimate, transactions, public sector, budget, assets, corruption, inequality, poor countries, regressive tax, household income, wealthy, income groups, families, incomes, bribes, public services, access, services, reduced. This is Hans Krebs who in 1937 published a paper showing the sequence of chemical reactions by which energy is released in individual cells. Um, it's called the Krebs cycle, which some of you may remember from your chemistry course in high school. Krebs is a wonderful example to me of how a scientist who is determined can overcome all kinds of human obstacles. Krebs' father constantly discouraged him and told him that he had just mediocre intelligence and would never do anything important in his life as a teenager. Uh, what Krebs remembers in his memoir, his father said to him, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And later on, when Krebs studied with the great biochemist Otto Warburg, Warburg also told him the same thing um, not the same quotes, but that he had only mediocre ability and would never be a great scientist. And we all hear about how important it is for parents to encourage their children, but sometimes the children will go on to do great things no matter what we say to them. The lecture talks about 1937, Hans Krebs, chemical reaction, cells, Krebs cycle, scientist, overcome, human obstacles, father, discourage, intelligence, mediocre, teenager, studied, biochemist, told the same thing, ability, great scientist, parents, encourage, children, children, great things, say to children. Hands Crafts, 1937, Individual Cells, Chemical Reactions. To which of our senses do all of the following words relate? Opaque, vivid, brilliant, shiny. Vision. In a recession, does economic activity increase? Slow down or stay the same? Slow down. In medical terms, are antibodies harmful or beneficial for patients? Beneficial. Would a person suffering problems with their vision consult a biologist or an optometrist? Optometrist. Would fresh milk last longer in a fridge or in a cool cupboard? In a fridge. Historians use evidence to draw conclusions about the past. Would a contemporary artist's painting of an ancient battle be an original source or a secondary source? Secondary source. 
One is the subject of study at a culinary institute. Cooking. Where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes, Bunsen burners, beakers, and petri dishes? In the laboratory, in the lab. What is the name of the field of study that studies the human mind and behavior? Psychology. A planet or galaxy that is very distant can be seen with what device? Telescope. Guys, please do not misunderstand and think that you shouldn't be using template. You can feel free to use template as long as it makes you feel comfortable to connect the keywords and keep your fluency. In fact, I actually did another very interesting experiment and what I did was um, I was not using any keywords in my answers but only purely template with academic words. But I'll be showing you that in my next video so, so please don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can stay updated. But until then, good luck with your PTE preparation. Bye guys!